I've never really been what you would call a huge fan of Mapex. No particular reason. I've reviewed loads of their stuff over the years. In fact, I had a kit in 2017. I think it was a Saturn, actually. Particularly good drums. Looked really good uh, and sounded really good, too. But uh, as far as ownership is concerned, they've never really sort of interested me that much. But I do own two Mapex snare drums. The first one uh, I did a while back, which is the Deep Forest Cherry snare drum. But the first, uh, this, this, act, this drum was actually the first of the two that I bought, and, and I think I bought this around 2005 or so. Uh, it was certainly no later than 2005. Now, some of you may recognize the patterning on the shell there. This is actually the 14 by five and a half inch Babylonian snare drum. Uh, steel shell, die cast hoops, uh, 10 lugs per side. You've got the twin snare mechanisms there. Um, they're rather sort of funky badge as well. I'll do a close up of these anyway, but uh, you got the fairly generic sort of snare wires there as well. Uh, you got the original Black Panther hazy on the bottom. I replaced this. Uh, it is only a coated ambassador. It came with a coated ambassador as well. And I remember taking this drum out, I think probably the week I bought it and uh, spent about an hour battering it at some uh, outdoor bike show and um, consequently completely crated it and uh, threw it away but um, it's an it's it's one of those drums that is just reassuringly heavy uh, and I on that basis alone I probably should use this drum more often than I do um, I think this it, it's just in my head it's just not a drum that I would sort of go to, but uh, it's also a drum that I enjoy playing. It, as I said, it's a steel shell, but it's quite a thick, uh, sort of, well, certainly it's a, it's a quite a thick shell. Uh, I can't remember exactly what the specs are, but the, um, you, you've got the, the sort of fairly standard rounded metal bearing edge there. Um, relatively deep, I suppose. Relatively deep and sort of fairly wide snare bed. Um, you've got these. The only thing I don't like about this drum is actually these, and it's not really, it's not really a specific to this drum because obviously this isn't the only drum that's ever had these on it. I just don't like them. I think they get in the way, and I think they're ugly. But you know, the main thing about this drum though is the sort of hieroglyphics that are on here, and, and as I said, I will do a close up. This this was a limited run. And they also did, uh, I think it was one other similar drum. They did a, one with a sort of a tribal pattern on it as well, uh, which came out after this, probably the year after, I think. Uh, seen a couple of those on eBay, actually, in the last few weeks, but uh, I've seen very few of these ones. Not that I really go looking for these drums, but uh, I've seen very few of these. I've seen quite a few of the tribal ones come up. All in all, though, I probably don't use this drum nearly as often as I should, but maybe that's something I should look to rectify. I will do a, a very slow spin round uh, this time because the etching on the shell really is worth looking at. Um, they did a really good job of this and uh, I think visually this is, I think, one of the more interesting metal shell drums that I own. But uh, anyway, as I said, slow spin round. This is what it sounds like as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.